Well, thank you very much for the invitation. Uh, so I'm here to talk about something uh, much more funny than uh, <laughs> public, uh, public money savings. <laughs> um, I'm here to talk about uh, a video toy, uh, which is the AR drone, uh, built in, um, in our Paris-based, uh, France Paris-based uh, company. Mm. Uh, so Parrot is a, is a wireless uh, company. We uh, design uh, for years uh, uh, wireless devices for mobile phones. Our main, um, our main uh, line of products is uh, hands-free car kits for cars, uh, motorbikes, and, um, and scooters. We have released in 2008 uh, uh, high-end uh, multimedia line of products with uh, stark design. Uh, yeah, you can see that. So we have uh, hands-free car kits. You can see our uh, stark design uh, speakers, the colored ones. You can see uh, digital photo frames too. Uh, so this is a, um, uh, this is a design by uh, um, line of products, and our latest product is the AR drone uh, that we that we uh, unveiled at CES last January. Uh, with this product, we uh, stay at the, the cutting uh, at the forefront of uh, innovation. Uh, it's um, sorry. Uh, when we availed it in uh, in January, we had a huge coverage. Um, this this uh, toy emerged from uh, our CEO's mind uh, four years ago. Uh, at first, it was a um, it was a, a small car, a video car, and it was not exciting enough. We wanted to make uh, video gaming with uh, toys and put back the, the video, video games to reality. Uh, and uh, we surprised the world when we unveiled this in January. We had uh, huge coverage in broadcast uh, articles, uh, and um, we have uh, many uh, uh, book, uh, Facebook fans and Twitter's uh, followers. Uh, our videos were, uh, were viewed uh, three million times in a few days, which uh, crunched our uh, website. <laughs> uh, sorry. So the air drone, the air drone is a revolutionary wireless device for mobile phones, and first of all for iPhone. Uh, it's uh, we designed it to be. Mainstream, uh, please go back to the. Thanks. So, um, so we designed it to be uh, to be uh, consumer oriented. So it's Wi-Fi. It can connect to to an iPhone, but to many other platforms. Uh, it's very simple to use. Uh, it's completely automatic. You can uh, you can push a button and it takes off and push another button and it, it lands, it's landing. So it's completely automatic, which, uh, which is uh, uh, realizing the, the dream of many people who want to fly at home or outdoor uh, without uh, breaking all the time uh, and training hours on simulators before they could fly. Um, it has two video cameras. One is in front of the toy, one is below. Um, they have uh, many usages, and the first of, of these is uh, live streaming uh, to the iPhone over Wi-Fi. And thanks to the um, I, uh, I, uh, iPhone accelerometer, it's very easy to, to steer and to move. You just have to move the iPhone to tilt it. 
And uh, we have uh, designed it to uh, build new, a new generation of video games thanks to tags detection. So we're going to dig into that. First, first of the striking uh, features of this product is the live video. So, uh, Brian, yeah, go ahead. Thank you. So, so as you can see, we got the live video streaming from the frontal camera of the toy. So. This, is, this allows you to, to observe or spy from a few meters range. The range of the Wi-Fi network uh, connection is about 150 feet away. So that's, that's the first striking feature. As you can see, uh, please go back to the slide. Yeah, it's coming back. <laughs> please, please come back to the, to the slide. OK, thanks. So. <laughs> really? <coughs> try, try again. <laughs> no. uh, so um, as you could see, uh, Brian is uh, that maybe the, we have Wi-Fi problems around, but let's try again. So uh, we have developed uh, an iPhone control interface. So you control it over Wi-Fi. We're using uh, motion control, thanks to the accelerometer. Uh, the Wi-Fi connection, uh, it's OK. Uh, so <laughs> it's a fully assisted uh, control interface. It's one button to take off, and then if, if you're lazy or you haven't trained, then you just let it uh, fly without inputting comments, and it stays still. Just release the comments. Just release them. Release the comments. You can see it stays still. And this is, this is the first in the world for indoor flying uh, in, a, in a completely autonomous way. It took us three years to develop the control of the helicopter. It is really, really tough. And we have a, a huge technical staff for that. And uh, the result is uh, convinced a lot of people when we avail unveiled it at CES. So there is one button to go up, one button to go down. You move it around by tilting the iPhone only. And when you release the button, it stays still, which relieves the, the, fly, the controller. OK. So go. as you can see on the control interface, there is one button on the right, on the top right, one button to go up, and on the bottom right to go down, two buttons to turn, one button when you touch it, then you control by tilting the iPhone. And there is a secret button for firing. <laughs> um, we have uh, embedded many sensors on board. The below camera, the ca can you show the below camera? Uh, please go back to the, switch back to the, um, OK. <laughs> So I wanted to show you the, the camera below. Can you switch? Yes, OK. So this is the camera below. So you can go, you can fly higher and see yourself from above very easily and switch back to the frontal camera. Thank you. Can you switch back to the, OK, thanks. So. Um, what we show you is, uh, is an indoor configuration for flying. It has uh, an external hull in EPP, made of, out of EPP, to protect the propellers and to protect the furniture and the people, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, when you set the outdoor configuration, you can go very fast, and it's really fun to fly. Uh, you can see the configuration on, on top right of the slide. Um, and the flight time is around 15 minutes, and uh, it can even fly when it's windy. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do a trim. So uh, we have a thought about the security. Uh, there is a cutout system. When there is any shock, then it cuts the engines, so it doesn't uh, it doesn't hurt anybody or break it itself. We uh, have developed tag detection thanks to the the frontal camera. Uh, can you? Did we have a reduced time? <laughs> Is it? So um, we have a developed tag detection. Can you show the, the big tag, please? Yeah. So um, we we have uh, we have designed uh, detection algorithms to detect tags. So there is a big tag here uh, that we can detect. And in a demonstration that we have, uh, we replace this tag by a robot in the video, and this robot is attacking you, and you have to defend yourself. So this is the first mechanics game mechanics for building a new generation of video games with reality, mixed reality, and virtual world. The other uh, colored, strange colored uh, tag that you can see on a air drone can be detected too by the frontal camera in order to play uh, against another air drone. So we detect each other, and we can validate when you shoot on the other one. So this allows... Uh, battles in the air. We have uh, developed three demonstrations. We'll try to show you them if we... Yes. Switch on to the video, video, iPhone video, please. Can you switch to the video? Thank you. So here, the, the tag is replaced by a robot. Can you... Can you Switch on the, the sound, please. Okay. We actually don't hear the, the sound from the game. It would be more immersive to have the sound. <laughs> so this, this uh, robot is popping up only when we detect the tag. So it's attacking us. Uh, we, we, won't, uh, we lost, in this case. <laughs> Can you manage to, to fly? No? Yeah. So here again.